about me getting the 10 hour rest. It's about the truck cannot move for 10 hours. Your company, your fleet manager, your DM don't give a fuck what you do in that 10 hours. Hell, you can you can go to the movies, you can go and get your you you can go and get your 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 sets on and all like that. You can do whatever to, whatever you want to do in that 10 hours. Because technically that 10 hours belong to you and you can do whatever you want to do with it. But let's but, but let's be real here. The truck cannot move in that 10 hour period. You can move. See, that's see, that's another thing that people don't explain either, yo. Yeah, you over here talking about, oh, well, you know, you, you got to take a 10 hour rest and all like that. You personally, you don't have to. You don't have to take a 10 hour rest. Hell, you could stay up and do whatever you want. But that truck can't move, though. So the shippers and receivers don't give a who. Once they're done, once they're done, they want you, they want you up and off their property. Now, here are some ways you can, you can move the truck after your hour says it's seated. One way, uh, you, you can PC. That's why that's why FMCSA relaxed the, the the personal conveyance because of situations like that. So you can PC for you know an hour or, or two to a safe haven, whether it's a rest stop, uh, a, a mall, hell, the side of the freaking road. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They, 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 they give you that. Now, some companies, you know, like U.S. Express and other me mega carriers don't have that option on your clock like, like smaller companies do. You know, smaller companies give you that option to use PC. You just got to make sure that you, that you document everything you do on the PC. All right. So that's, that's what PC Another way is, is that you can use your, uh, you, you can move the truck in violations, but you have to make sure you notate the reason why you moved your truck in violation so that, so that if you get pulled over by DOT or get pulled in a way station and get inspected. And then they'll see that, oh, well, you drove two hours over your, you know, you was in violation for two hours. Why? I was at, I was at Home Depot. Uh, they, they, they took about eight, nine, 10 hours to load me. My, my clock ran out and they forced me off their property. And, and I had to find somewhere to, park that's the other way now miss billy badass here over here talking about well you know we gotta be here to a federal standard and i go in there and i gotta put my foot down and all like that uh, shippers and receivers don't want to hear that shit they don't want to hear that you know what they're gonna do they're gonna call they're gonna call your fleet manager or or call the the manager and complain about you and then, and then once they complain about you, 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 now you is banned from going there. And now you just messed up. You, you just put a mark on the company because you trying to, you, you trying to play Billy Badass. What you need to do is simple. Just go in. If they, if they load you late, they tell you to leave, leave. That's all you got to do. You don't don't argue. I, I don't argue. I don't I don't argue with them. I mean, you know, like I said, I make sure I get there on time. I make sure I get my detention pay. And then if and and then I ask them, I say, hey, bro, um, is it all right that I I say, is it all right that I post up for a couple of hours until my, you know, until my clock reset and I can leave? And if he say no, 
Who who am I to argue with him and say, oh, well, you know, because of FMCSA, uh, I can't move the truck. A lot of you, a lot of these drivers try to, and a lot of these new drivers, even if she's a veteran, she should know better. She been out here. She she know how she know how it works. Now the only way that you can become a Billy badass if you own your own truck, then I, once you own your own truck, then yeah, you can do whatever the hell you want to do. Hey bro, hey bro, uh, I got eight hours, man. How long is going to take you to get me unloaded? Oh well, it's going to it's going to take me a long time. Hey, you know what? You know what? Hey, I'm going to drop this trailer here. No, you can't. Uh, yeah, yes, I can. I'm, I'm my own boss, bro. I'm not going to wait here in the dock for no damn eight hours. Y'all can get y'all stuff off. I'll come back and get my trailer. That's being a Billy badass when you own your own shit. Not if you're, not if you're a company driver for U.S. Express, Snyder, Prime. Nah, they don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear that. So, yeah, man, th th that's another thing what they don't talk about. They, do, you know, they don't talk about the money. They don't talk. They don't talk about they don't talk about getting hemmed up. There's a lot of shit out here that 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 that, you know, us truckers go through and people don't they, and people don't want to talk about that, though. Hey, come on out here. Get your CDL and come on out here and join the join the driving community. Hey, what's the what's the what's the bad side of it? Oh, well, there there's really no bad side. There's no bad side to trucking. Everything is all sunshine and rainbows over here. Is she okay? And you think when new people, new drivers hear her, she setting a bad example? You know, I, I I'm not gonna say she's setting a bad example because. You know, this this is all her opinion and maybe her experiences and all like that. You know, I, I think I, I think everybody that's giving advice should come with it with, with a uh, with a disclaimer. <laughs> I, I think everybody that calls themselves trying to give advice to young truckers or beginning truckers or anything trucker related, I think everybody should come with a disclaimer. Before I say, before I say what I have to say, disclaimer, this is all my opinions and all my experience. Because you can't talk for everybody. You can't do that. You, you can't talk for everybody, Billy. Billy, you can't talk for everybody because er, er, every, everybody don't give a fuck about the, uh, the FMCSA shit. I, to be honest with you, I don't even think FMCSA really gives a fuck. <laughs> she said she said something about a form that us drivers could go on to, but yeah, not yeah, all, all of us drivers ain't gonna ain't gonna waste our time with 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 that form on FMCSA, especially especially if you're a company driver. You, if you're a company driver. If you're a company driver, you 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 got you 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 got some you know some some type of power, whether or not you know whether or not you can you know whether or not you can wield it or not because you you know you you the one that's driving, you the one that's seeing everything. Your you know your your twenty year old fleet manager that only been in the seat for a day or two is only looking at Google Maps and being like. Oh, well, how come you didn't take this route? How come you didn't take this route? Or how come you didn't do this? Or Google Maps says you would have been there like, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes ago. But, bro, I'm the one that's driving. I'm the one that's seeing what's going on out here. I'm the one that's in traffic. I'm the one that got to go to a go through a detour because Google Maps says go that route. But didn't tip, but didn't say nothing about the about the huge road closure that is on. Or how about when Google Maps says, "Here, take this no truck route 
and you can't do that. And you got to find, you got to go all the way, all, exactly. And you got to go all the way around the city to get back on the highway. And that, and, and that going to, and that's going to take about 45, 45, 45 minutes to an hour. Don't forget, we ain't driving no car. <laughs> we driving, we we driving a truck, which which can't go down some residential streets, some narrow streets, some narrow parkways. Man, listen, I I, I was almost in trouble in Georgia yesterday. Motherfucking GPS told me to take the take the uh georgia express or uh, the told me to take uh 75 expressway i got on that motherfucker and i'm driving on and i'm like something don't feel right and my and, and my thoughts and my feelings was was valid when I went past the big ass sign that says no trucks on the expressway. And I'm like, what the, I'm looking at, I'm looking at this and I'm looking at this. And when I got on this expressway, it ain't say nothing, nothing about trucks not being on there. But yet when I get halfway in the middle of the expressway, there's a big ass sign that says, no trucks on the expressway. Bro, why why wasn't there no sign that says no trucks on the expressway when I first got on it? So I said, let me hurry up and get the fuck off this bitch. <laughs> yeah, let me hurry up and get Yeah, let me hurry up and get off that one. Cause I'm if I would have smooth got pulled over, that would have been a ticket. That would have been a ticket out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Don't 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 want that ticket. So, but yeah, man, it's it's a lot of it's a lot of things in trucking, man. That people really gotta, you know, people really gotta do their research. You know, take take your time. You know, base basically just just take your time and 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 do some research. I mean, you guys, I mean, you know, you guys do research on everything else. Y'all research how that guy got 110 years and y'all analyze this shit take that same analyzation that y'all use and 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 figure out what what is a good company for you and for and for the people that's quote unquote giving advice make sure you start your shit off with a disclaimer 